1863. Oh my gosh. Is this real? 1861, right there. Look at that. This album is from 1861. Oh my gosh. My name's Thomas and I'm an online reseller. Every week I search all over for some real bargains. I find all sorts of cool stuff. So follow me on my journey and hit that subscribe button. So a quick recap for new viewers. We spent $1,220 on the storage unit and so far we've made over $7,000 back in profits. We found all sorts of cool collectible items, World War II, Vietnam memorabilia, antiques, all kinds of cool stuff. And we intend to do the same thing today. So I hope you enjoy this video. Leave a like if you liked the video and definitely subscribe if you have not subscribed. Now we're on the final tote. I know that there are some antique Bibles in here. I'm very excited. I think this one will be very good. So let's get right into it. Okay, starting off, I see a postcard on top. Nice. 1908, that's another 1908 postcard. Great, right to the collection. They should sell very well. Now what is this? You can see the Bibles down there. This is old clothes. An old hat? How old? I don't know. I do not know. That's nice. You see it was handmade. It's definitely some kind of top. Oh, it's got flowers on this side. This might be money right here. I'm, I'm not familiar with it. It's definitely vintage. I don't know about antique, but that's some really cool stuff right there. 1957. See? Gray pink color circa 1957. Garden bonnet circa 1940s. So this hat is 1940s and this shirt is 1957. Nice. Okay, it's time to check another Bible. This thing looks like it's trying to fall right apart. Be very careful. Look it right on. Latilia Willett's album. It's an album? Look at that little locking mechanism. Okay, let's see what we got here. And it just came right off. Yeah, this is 1800s, I believe. Check this out. Looks like the ins inside bind is still doing pretty well. Wow. You got all those pictures of old, those old antique pictures. I bet there's, I bet this book is worth money with all these antique photos. Even though they're family photos, the book's kind of rough. I mean, people pay for antiques. I don't have a date. Come on. 1893. At the very top. So we know it's at least from 1893. This Latin book. I don't know if it's a Bible or not. But I'm not going to start going through it like crazy. Because it just wants to fall apart. Down here. Oh, the pages are wanting to slide out. And it is all coming apart. It's very unfortunate. The main reason I'm opening it up right now is to see if they hide anything in it and to see what the date is. Realistically, I do not believe there will be high market value because of the condition, but it's still a nice old piece of history. Antique. Something case? Well, if it was antique back then, then I wonder what it is now. That's what I want to know. Oh, wow. Check that out. Oh, that's awesome. Wow. Daguerreotype cases. Little Theater, Little Field, Parsons and Co. 1856. And April 
1857. I don't believe, I mean, this doesn't mean this was made in 1856, but it means they started making these in that time. If they said this is antique, then well, they probably put this all together here in the 90s or the 80s. So this is definitely 1800s. Ooh, look at all these newspapers. Check that. Photos. Check out these photos. These are these are eighteen hundreds here. Wow. book number three valid USA address and sign 1900 oh that's old oh oh money money come on come on come on come on 25 cents of a dollar check that out 1863 oh my gosh is this real what is that this I, I don't know what this is I've never seen this before what I'm gonna have to Google I'm gonna have to Google this one this could be some big money oh this could be big money it says 1863 on it, and it's 25 cents. How much is that back then? Big enough to be a paper dollar, and that's what. And it is missing the backside. It had a lock-in section on it, album. So this is a photo album. Let's see what we got to work with. Oh, check that out. That's, that's 1800 right there. I can recognize that. Photographs. Oh. Look at that. I bet someone would buy this just because how old it is and how how period it is. Eighteen. Eighteen hundreds photo album full of 1800s photographs. All of these are antique photographs. Check these out. Oh, what is that? Is that a real photograph? Or it looks like a picture of a book. Because that's Civil War right there. I think they took a picture of a book. Or maybe it's even older than Civil War, but it's... I don't think I don't I don't think that's a real photograph because of the writing under it. Yeah. Well, now we are on to the very last thing. Oh, okay, okay. This is looking cool. Oh, for some cool stuff. That looks like it might be something cool. Let's get through this first. 1879 written on the paper three cent stamps oh wow as the further you go down the box the older it gets 1861 is we're getting to civil war era i'm pretty sure i don't remember the date specifically wow yeah Check all this out. Some old antique, antique stamps on postcards, on uh, not postcards, but shipping envelopes. Oh wow! This is old. This is old. Oh my gosh! Oh, look at this. Check 
Zurück hier. Ja. Yeah. I'm talking quiet to be careful, which doesn't really make sense in my brain, but it's working. So, 1861, right there. Look at that. This album is from 1861. Oh my gosh. Maybe even a little earlier, because it's that's like midway through the book. 1861. We can assume this one is going to be the exact same. But yeah, 1860s on these albums. 1860s. Wow. More stamps. Yeah, this is that same handwriting. I got a feeling that all the ones with this handwriting are around that 1860 time period because it's the same person that's writing on them. They all look the same. So we probably have a whole bunch of these antique cards with this, with antique stamps from the 1860s, which is amazing. Look at that. Oh, what do we what do we have down here? What do we have? Oh, what is this? Department of Interior, Washington, March 1886 or 81. My own. I can't really read that. Okay, let's let's do this first and then get to that. Oh, look at that! Oh my gosh! Washington D.C. Department of Interior, pension official. It's that same handwriting. This is 1860s. 1860 stamp collection. Oh, what is this? Oh. oh, we got a postcard. A Merry Christmas postcard. Okay, that's 1918. That's 1918. It's not as impressive. No! Oh. Check this. This is that 1860s handwriting. Oh, look at that. I've never seen an envelope like that before. It was open from the side. There's no letter in it. Here's a stamp. Two cent stamp. And it's in a little frame. Yeah, this guy's a stamp collector. Check that out. That's everything. That's everything. Oh look, they got a date on this one. 1879. Yeah, these are from the 1800s. So many stamps from the 1800s. That about wraps up the World War II Swords Unit. Now, as you've seen, there are a lot of items that I have not given evaluation on because I am not familiar with those. Mainly, the Civil War era items, as I do not know if they are from the Civil War or just a time period. Luckily for me, my buddy Chris told me he would look over everything and make sure I didn't miss anything important. So, if you liked the video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed yet, definitely subscribe. See you next week with a brand new storage unit.